Okay, so when in the IQ series we took a look look at how we can reference and check positions about different items with on a on a VEX robot. On this robot in particular, I have installed a little push button under the arm. So I lift that up, you can see there's a push button there. And when the arm comes down, I don't want to force it, it hits that push button. So we can use that as a bit of a reference. Now in the code, I'll just put that down for a second, we need to add the push button in. So if I go back to my devices, add device, uh, let's say it's a three wire device. So it brings up some of our more traditional devices that we've had. And specifically, this is just a bumper, nothing special. Um, and we're gonna track that bumper back. So it should be plugged into one of the three wire ports. We've got a wire coming up there. And it looks like it's plugged into the three wire port A. So I select that and now I've got bumper plugged into A and done. So you can see it showing up there. Um, A, just symbolizing that it's one of the old ports with the triangle where the smart ports are the ones with the little motor symbol. So we can use that bumper. So we'll just close that for a second. I'm gonna dump my dead reckoned code there and take a look at just referencing, referencing that arm. Uh, the best way to do this is when the program starts, just run a basic if statement. So if the arm's touching the bumper, set the encoder value to zero. If not, go down until you hit the bumper, set the encoder value, encoder value to zero. So if I come to controls, I've got my repeats um, and my if statement. So I'm just gonna grab my if. So if, I've got a little triangle thing here. So let's look at what our sensing is for that button. So brain sensing, uh, motor sensing. We should have a button in here somewhere. Drivetrain sensing, bumper sense. So if bumper A is pressed, all right, so if bumper A is pressed, what I wanna do in that scenario is just tell the arms encoder value to set itself back to zero. Um, that way, later on, I can use that value. So let's see. Under motion, we've got set claw position to zero degrees. We'll grab that, stick that in there, and change it to arm. So if the arm comes down and hits that bumper, it's going to set the value of that to zero. So now I've got something I can reference. And say you put your robot in the field and it's not quite positioned right, this is just a quick setting that you can come down, reference the robot before you get moving again. So if, in the case that bumper A is not pressed, we need to do something else. So what we want to do is spin, spin the claw down, uh, sorry, spin the arm down until it hits that button. So I'm going to say changes. So spin the arm. So right now it's going to spin the arm reverse forever. It'll keep going and going and going and going forever. So I'm going to come down here to wait until. So it's gonna spin the arm until something happens. If I go sensing again and grab that bumper, so we'll say until bumper is pressed, at which point we can come back up here. I want to stop the arm and I want to set the arm position to zero. So at the end of this, the arm position is gonna end up being zero. If I download this to the robot, and we hit play, nothing happened the first time because the arm's already all the way down. I'm gonna stop that. Let's make the video bigger for a second so we can see. Now let's just force the arm up and we'll come back in and run that code again. So down, it hit the bumper, it's reset to zero. Now the benefit here is say, if I wanted to now move to an accurate position, I could grab another code or another block, say, okay, well, that's, that's good. So now I wanna spin my claw to position, let's say 45 degrees, because that's the height of a goal. I know that it's 45 degrees now. Download to robot and play, and we should see that claw, oops, I missed that one, should have been arm. 
So let's set this arm. So I'm going to download and play. And there's that arm coming up to zero. When I hit play, stop now and play again, you should see it come down and reference before it goes back up. And there you go. So it came down, reference, went up. So we know we're in the right place. Um, really good practice for your robot to calibrate itself before it starts an autonomous or even to calibrate between certain points. Um, then once you've done this if statement, your, your general um, dead reckoning can be down here, or you could have more complex autonomous following the end of the code. And we'll leave it at that.